Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. Hi guys, kamusta? Kamusta mong tanan? Guys, prior to this video, I did a float and eyebrow tutorial or paano magkilay. So I'm going to link that one up here. And yeah, so tonight, pangalawa tong video that I'm going to do tonight. Kasi guys, nagkahabol tayo. It's been a while na hindi tayo kumuha ng video because nasira yung laptop natin. But now, nakapaghiram na tayo ng laptop. Macbook nga lang, so ahiram. <laughs> I'm here, so I'm testing it out, and basically, why not? I'm ready to also pag film, de ba? So and dito na tayo. So for this video, I'm going to teach you how to do your foundation, how to apply foundation. Guys, disclaimer or let hindi ako makeup artist. Okay, this is how I do my own foundation, and also how I do my friends' makeup or foundation. Kasi mina makeup at yung friends ko. So, ayun. So, we're clear on that. So, now, moving forward, there are a lot of ways to apply your foundation, guys. Madami, madaming ways. Pwedeng kamay, pwedeng brush, or madaming tools ang pwedeng gamitin para mag-apply ng foundation. Now, the most common tools that we use are the brushes and also the sponge. Yeah, sponge are really getting popular na. I think most of the YouTubers use sponge. Ayan, madami nang gumagamit ng sponge. And yeah, I do enjoy sponge then. But I mostly, I mo, mostly, <laughs> but I mostly use the brushes. So today, we, I am going to teach you how to, you know, to apply foundation. Just a basic one. So the first half, we're going to this part, we're going to use the sponge. Oh, the other half, we are going to use the brush. Now, let's start with the sponge. Now for the sponge guys, kailangan nyo siyang soak ng water and then remove the water. Parang maging damp lang siya. I-ano nyo lang ng tissue, tapos squeeze nyo lang yung extra water and kailangan na siya ma-feel yung parang basa na. Pero walang water ha, basa at malamig. So yun yung ano, damp sponge. Damp, 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 damp sponge. So I think that's the one. <laughs> so now we're going to apply a foundation. Guys, nakapag-prime na ako and all, nakapag-prep na ako ng skin. Now I'm going to get my foundation. Shake ko lang first yung foundation. Tapos ako yung squeeze ko sa sa back ng hands ko. Now it's up to you guys kung gano'ng ka-sheer or gano'ng ka-full coverage ang gusto nyo gamitin sa inyong mukha. So guys, if you're going to use the sponge, you're going to get a light, lighter coverage than using a brush. Kasi ina-absorb ng sponge yung product. So, di ba may butas yung sponge? Ina-absorb nyo yung water, parang sinusok din niya yung product. But the good thing is, napipress mo yung product na maayos sa face at nagsisink talaga sa sa face as well. Feels like skin-like na yung product. So I'm going to get two pumps. Pero konti lang naman ako mag-pump. Andi-dip ko na siya ngayon sa Prada. Ganyan. Tapos, ibabounce ko lang siya sa face ko. Ganyan. So, ibabounce mo lang siya, guys, softly sa face. Ganyan. Huwag mo siyang i-drag yung Prada. Bounce mo lang, ganyan. Para parang pinapush mo yung product sa skin mo. Now, ang hindi ko masyadong gusto kasi dito sa sponge is yung mga crevices, itong mga to sa ilong or dyan sa mata, hindi yan masyadong na-reach unless maganda yung point ng sponge mo. But yeah, most of the time hindi ko siya na-reach kaya hindi ako masyadong gumagamit ng sponge. Kaya I prefer brush. So ibabounce mo lang siya hanggang sa maging pantay yung color ng face mo. There are some who like full coverage. Ako naman is mas gusto ko yung mm, light coverage lang. Light coverage lang. Kasi gusto ko pa yung nagpipake through yung skin ko na nakakahinga sila. Kasi we're going to apply more products pa all over our face after the foundation, di ba? If you can see, uh, medium coverage lang to. Light pa lang siya ngayon. But this foundation, kasi yung foundation din naman kasi iba-iba yung coverage niya. May light, may full, may medium. Pwede na. Depende din sa liking mo. So yun. Tapos ilagay ko rin siya dito sa leeg para magpantay yung color ng face ko at leeg. Although this foundation is like the color of my leg. So I love the color of this. It suits me a lot. Very much it matches my skin and my eyes. So lagyan ko rin siya sa tenga para hindi nakalutang yung tenga natin at isang color. Now, kung mag, hindi mo tamareach yung area nito, don't worry kasi maglalagay ka naman concealer later on. That one you can use para ma-reach mo yung mga, yan, mga crevices or mga sulok-sulok na area sa mukha mo. So yun, see? Mayroon na siyang difference. 
um, mas na-cancel niya ito mga redness. Sa mukha, sa face na to, may mga redness, diba? So, ito na-cancel niya. Mas even na yung skin tone natin. Which is yun ang gusto natin ma-reach sa paglalagay ng foundation to even alter skin tone. So, with that, this is a lighter coverage. Light coverage pa lang to, guys. Actually, kasi nagpipick through pa rin talaga yung tignan yung nunal ko. Sobrang visible pa. So, hindi pa siya natatakpan ng maayos. Or, or hindi ko naman talaga titakpan yung nalang ko. Pero nakita mo yung redness ko dito, meron pa din, yan yung part na yan. Now, if you want to add more, to cover that more, then you, of course, you need to add more pumps of product. And then, yun lang pa din, i-bounce mo siya. Now, what you want to do next is, kita-target mo yung areas na gusto mo maglagay ng coverage pa. This, kasi yung nagpipicture pa yung redness ko dito on this area also. So, what I'm going to do, yun ba, nip ko pa rin siya. Tawa ko ng product, nabubula na naman ako. Hinihina ako guys, hindi ko alam kung anong hinihabal ko actually. Tapos na, ipipress ko siya dito. Tapos ipipress ko siya sa areas na gusto ko pa ng more coverage. Yeah, ipipress. So pag ipipress ko guys, parang press, tapos nire-roll ko sila. Para talaga, dun siya mag-focus yung product. So, hindi ko siya masyadong binabilisan ng pag-bounce. Ngayon, pinapress ko siya, tapos parang niro-roll. Para yung product is mag-stick yun sa area na gusto ko pa ng additional coverage. So, ayun. Yan, parang press and roll. Yan. But lightly lang, guys. Hindi sobrang top. Sobrang ano. Tawag dito, hardcore. There you have it, guys. So, tignan nyo, pantay yung color ko dito lahat. Sa side na to, hanggang sa leeg. Ayan, so that's what we want to achieve. So, yun yung nilagay kong product using... Yun yung paglagay ko ng foundation using sponge. Ang gulo ko. <laughs> so, yun yung paglagay ko ng foundation using a sponge. So, that's it, guys. So, we're done with the sponge. Now, let's move on to my favorite way of applying a foundation, which is the brushes. Now, there's a lot of brushes to choose from, guys. Actually, I have a lot of foundation brushes. So, I have here an angled uh, kabuki brush. Tapos, my go home flat brush na kabuki. Tapos, meron pa ako isang angle dito na mas looser na kabuki brush. This is from Anclutes. Ito yung pinakauna kong foundation brush. And then, also, I have a stippling brush here. Ayan, double fiber stippling brush here. So, ito yun guys, yung mga brushes na ginagamit ko. Actually, the more na mas dense yung brush, like for example, itong kabuki ko, it's really dense. Malalaman mo yung density niya eh, kung mas looser siya or mas dense kapag pinipress niya siya. So, kung pinipress niya, kung gagalaw ng ganyan, so yun, ganyan siya ka-dense. Kasi ito, super loose nito. Kapag ginan mo siya, tingnan mo yung fan niya. Diba? Masyadado siyang bumukas. So, ito hindi masyadong bukas. Lalo naman to sobrang dense dito. Hanggang dyan lang <laughs> din siya bubukas. Hanggang ganyan lang siya. So, the more dense your foundation brush is, um, mas more coverage yung application niya. Yun. Kung gusto niya ng really pack na pack na full coverage, then use a dense makeup brush or kabuki brush. Yun. So, this one, of course, ito yung mga ano, mas lighter yung coverage nito. Ito yung ginagamit ko sa mga friends ko kapag natural day makeup lang. So, ito yung mga ginagamit ko. Now, if you want to have that full coverage ng makeup, especially ako kasi nag-makeup transformation ako, I use this makeup brush. Now, this I love using kasi wala lang, malaki siya. Mas mabilis siyang spread yung product. Ayan. So, it's a kabuki flat. Flat? Flat? It's a kabuki flat brush. Get two pumps or one pump lang actually yun. Mabilis na ako mag-pump. To apply this one, so kukuha ako. Now, what I love doing kasi is spread ko muna to. I mean, ganyan. I-brush ko muna siya evenly sa mga areas. Ayan. Ayan siya guys. So, ganyan lang ako. Now, I will start buffing na. Actually, ang pag brush mo is going down. Kasi yung hair, kasi yung mukha natin may mga hair, di ba? May mga strands. May mga buhok-buhok siya. Now, yung direction na kasi is going down. So, kaya going down yung direction ng pagbabrush mo ng face. Kasi if you go against the direction ng kung paano tumubo yung hair nyo, magkakaroon kayo talaga ng streaks or yung basta yung mga line lines na uneven application ng um, foundation. So, what you need to do is apply pababa. So, what I do normally, nagsisimula ako dito sa gitna ng face and then I 
um, brush the product downward. So, pababa ako. Ganyan. Lightly lang din. Parang tinatouch ko lang siya sa skin. Tapos, brush down. Now, with this, kasi may mga lines ako dito. Um, what do you call this one? Um, horizontal. Ko din sila pinabrush. Ganyan. Pagilid. Kasi, marami akong lines sa forehead. Kasi tumatanda na tayo. So, yun. I'm going to fill in the lines. Tapos, pababa din ako. Or pagilid ako magbrush. So, mas mabilis yung application nito kasi mas malaki yung brush ko at ayun, nagsispread siya kagad. And the good thing is, itong mga areas na to, yung mga crevices nga na sinasabi, yung mga sulok-sulok ng mukha mo, mabilis mo ma-fill in ng foundation kasi pumapasok yung brush doon, guys, ganyan. So, ayun. Ayan, so if you notice, mas makapal yun dito kasi nakapag medium coverage na tayo, ayan, super light coverage lang to pa natin apply kasi konti pa lang yung ating in-apply na product. Now, I will add more. Now, what I'm going to do is to target, to target the place na gusto ko pa ng coverage. So, what I am going to do, dip ko siya dyan. Now, I'm going to press. So, ito super light pa dito. Ipipress ko siya, guys. Ganyan. Ipofocus ko yung um, product dyan. Ayan. Ibabuff ko siya, focus, pero going down pa din. Ayan. Press nyo lang, ganyan down. So, yan. This area, I want more coverage as well. Ito. Normally, kasi may mga dark areas ng face natin. Itong gilid ng lips. Itong dito sa ilalim ng ilong. Itong dito sa area ito ng mata. Mayroon tayo yung mga discoloration sa mga areas na yan. Okay, drag ko din siya sa neck. And then sa ears. Now guys, it's okay kung hindi nyo ito tagyan ng maraming foundation itong area na ito. Kasi dito nilalagyan natin ng concealer, di ba? And we don't want to pack a lot of products sa area na yan. Kasi yun yung tendency na magkikake siya. So okay lang yung sheer application ng foundation then. Tapos later on, nagyan nyo lang ng concealer. Nag-full coverage na rin tayo dito. I mean, nag-medium coverage na tayo sa area to. Kahit medium na, kapal na eh. Medium to full coverage na to. See, diba? Tapos, ang dami pa natin natirang product. Compared yun ang gamamit ng sponge. Kasi yung sa sponge, in-absorb siya ng sponge, guys, in products. Some of the products. Kaya ito, using the brush, mas makakatipid ka. For, for me, ha? Although, sa akin, same lang man naman sila na finish. Kasi what I am going to do after... Pag happy na ako sa coverage na yan, I'm going to use the sponge also to press. That's what I like to do, guys. Every after I apply ako ng products sa face ko, I'm going to use my sponge to even out the texture. And then also, to remove the excess product, yung naka-cling on lang sa skin mo at hindi naman talaga naging skin-like na. Parang extra product sa face mo. And then cling on. So by, well, you, by using a damp, a damp, a damp sponge, mag absorb niya yung mga extra products, uh, excess products sa skin. So yeah. So actually, I use brush and <laughs> sponge in applying my foundation. I use both. Ayan. So there you have it, guys. Tignan nyo, di ba? Sobrang pantay ng, ng foundation natin sa mukha. I mean, wala na yung redness ng mukha natin, wala na wala yung discoloration. So that's what we are trying to achieve, kaya tayo naglalagay ng foundation. Ayan, not because gusto natin mag-keep ng foundation, guys. But we want to have a smooth finish ng face natin, um, even out skin tone, uh, even skin tone. So, ayan. So that's what we want to achieve, guys. So by using sponge and brush, we achieve natin siya. And yeah, yun yung how I apply it. So there you have it, guys. This is how apply I apply my foundation. And so, guys, please do subscribe and also please hit that um, like button and notification bell para ma. Ako. Notify kayo every time I'm going to upload a new video. And guys, do please do share my videos on your Facebook accounts and on you know in any of your social media. It's para dumami kagad yung family natin. Ah, inutusan ko kayo. <laughs> Anyways, guys, thank you so much. I love you and I hope to see you again soon. Bye!